Good morning and welcome to the Morning Outlook Report. I'm Rachel Jones reporting live from Calkine TV Sydney Studios. Now this morning, the Australian share market is expected to open higher. According to the latest SPY futures, the ASX 200 is likely to open 30 points higher or 0.4% higher. At the closing bell yesterday, the S&P ASX 200 was 0.7% or 52 points lower at 7,097. Now, the best performing sector yesterday was financials. They were up almost 1%. The worst performing sector was materials, down at 3.7%. The best performing stock yesterday was Unity Group. Their shares closed 27.3% higher at $4.01. The worst performing stock was Chalice Mining. Their shares closed 10.3% lower at $6.80. They were followed by shares in Champion Iron and Zipco. Now looking to some business news from today now and Centuria Capital Group has today announced it's established a new institutional healthcare partnership through a joint venture with an investment vehicle sponsored by Morgan Stanley Real Estate Investing and it will be called Centuria Prime Partnership or CPP. Now CPP is seeded with three healthcare real estate assets collectively worth $210 million. The assets are supported by strong tenant covenants and high quality operators on long lease terms, providing a portfolio weighted average lease expiry of 12 years and 99% occupancy. Further assets have been identified by Centuria and it is intended that additional healthcare assets will be acquired by CPP. And Westpac has today announced the appointment of Yana Pampakaloa to the newly created position of Chief Transformation Officer. She'll sit on the group's executive team and report to CEO Peter King. She'll have responsibility for major change in investment programs and also accountability for customer outcomes and risk excellence programs. Before Westpac, she was at Deutsche Bank in the UK. And Dexas has their convenience retail REIT has settled on the acquisition of Glasshouse Mountain's dual service center in Queensland. Now this ASA was acquired for $21.25 million and that excludes transaction costs. It comprises two well-established properties on either side of the Bruce Highway within the Sun Sunshine Coast region. Well now it's time for a very short break but stay tuned for more news set to affect your trading day. Boarding pass, please. Hi, I'm Holly Shields, and I'll be your host for Calkine TV's new show, Travel Insights. Tune in to get the latest developments in the travel and tourism space, from updates on restrictions to travel guides to info about recreation and outdoor activities, or tour guides to the financials of the sector. Though the travel industry has been hit hard from the pandemic, there is still potential left for a revival on the back of economic upturn and COVID safe travel measures. So if you want to know where the travel and tourism space is heading, dust off your passports, pack your bags and watch Travel Insights every Monday exclusively on Calkine TV. Welcome back to the Morning Outlook Report. Over in the U.S. now and on Wall Street, the Dow Jones rose 1.82 percent. The S&P 500 soared 2.14 percent and the Nasdaq ended 2.92 percent higher. European stocks fell after China reported a rise in coronavirus cases and new restrictions. The Pan-European Stock 600 Index lost 0.28 percent and MSCI's gauge of stocks across the globe gained 0.94 percent. The broadest index of Asia-Pacific shares outside of Japan closed 2.73 percent lower overnight. The dollar index fell and the euro was up 0.04 percent. Oil prices inch lower yesterday. That's as supply disruption fears eased on Ukraine peace hopes and also surging COVID-19 cases in China spurred demand concerns. Brent futures fell 6.5 percent to settle at $99.91 a barrel. WTI crude slipped 6.4 percent to settle at $96.44 a barrel. 
Both contracts settled below $100 per barrel for the first time since late February. Gold prices fell over 1% to a two-week trough as traders bet on U.S. rate hikes coming sooner than expected. Spot gold fell 1.8% to $1,915 U.S. dollars an ounce. Gold futures fell 1.55% to $1,992 U.S. dollars an ounce. Well, that's all for our Morning Outlook report here on Calkind TV. Have a great day trading and stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. This is Rachel signing off for now.